The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour. And of course, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as I'm here in the free state of Florida, God's country in Clearwater, Florida, soaking up the good rays and uh, getting rid of those negative waves people talk about. But uh, yeah, I'm here. And it's the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, uh, we, went, uh, so we went south yesterday in the newsletter. Um, I suspect, in the S&P, by the way, I suspect uh, that uh, the NASDAQ is going to follow but it's going to be a few days we may see a little bit more out of it in the in a few coming days but for the most part we're probably going to find something out here uh that turns the nasdaq lower i suspect uh, as many people already know that is that uh, the market's pretty much at uh 4500 on the s p uh was priced for about eight percent uh uh, overall uh, upside from uh, a year ago and it looks like uh, maybe two percent upside uh, for earnings uh, over uh, over a year ago so pretty uh, uh, raucously optimistic on earnings and of course we're a couple of weeks uh, from coming into that but uh, you know what uh, I suspect we just had a lot of people that sold when they could and uh, not when they have to uh, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of reasons why people leaving Europe, uh, leaving China, coming to the United States, uh, giving us one more time. Um, I always uh, loved Jesse Livermore's book, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, and there's never a day in the market where I don't think of something that he said, uh, either in that book or later on, um, or, or uh, his cohorts like Wyckoff. Uh, they were very prolific about writing stuff and uh, to tell you the truth there isn't a whole lot of a lot of new under the sun in the stock market as Jesse himself said there can't be speculation as old as the hills and uh, eh, probably even as old or maybe older than Larry Pesavento you never know Anyway, uh, 877-927-6648. I'm just glad to have Larry around. He's got uh, he's got the advantage of having about 30 years on all of us in uh, the market. I'm in my 24th year as a full-time career. Uh, I know people in the 32s and uh, and uh, Larry in what is 50, 60 years. You. I always remember when I was first starting trading. I can't remember who said it, but uh, um, I remember or said it first. I remember uh, though that uh, that uh, uh, Tim Ord and uh, uh, Tom O'Brien would repeat that uh, you got to go around a few cycles to really figure out what's going in the market. And uh, everybody's a genius on the way up. Uh, when the markets start pulling back, it's very tough. Uh, to uh, decide that uh, the markets have topped out, and uh, over his, or at least historically, uh, the retail trader has given back 90% of his winnings that he made in the huge bull market uh, in the one year of the bear market that follows. Uh, almost biblical, right? The uh, seven, what is it? Seven years of plenty followed by seven years of uh, not plenty, and uh, they put all the weed away. Was that? Uh, Joe? Not Joe. Don't think it was Joe. Jacob? I think it was Jacob. Yeah. I do I, I, everything now, in, now that I'm in my 60s. Uh, I still have my hair, though. Uh, 
it starts to fade. And of course, uh, what you learned at 10 is not as brilliant in uh, fourth thought in your mind as it was, uh, well, 50 years ago now. Uh, but uh, yeah, you still remember the, the big parts of that. Uh, so anyway, uh, what are we looking at? I think this is the first day. As we said last week, uh, we were looking for options uh, rollover on Monday and Tuesday, and then the real path to reveal itself today. And we've got it. So uh, options rollover are always important days uh, that uh, everybody was as about a euphoric as you could stand uh, in a market where they're going to be raising interest rates uh, hand over fist. Uh, and uh, the Fed actually, you know, even on Monday, kind of uh, telling you everybody that uh, they were way over the tips of their skis, uh, the metaphor I like to use. Especially since I grew up watching the wild world of sports and watching that guy bite it every Saturday uh, coming down those giant mountains. And just, uh, uh, man, you just have to watch that over and over every Saturday. You just go, oh, I figured this week he, he would have figured it out, not done the same thing again. But you know what? He did it every week. Um, but, yeah, you don't want to be over the tips of your skis. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always put a message in the den. Yeah, there was a there was a joke about the agony of defeat, and I can't remember what it was, but it had to do with Howard Cosell and some other stuff. I imagine it's probably still floating around on the Internet these days. And I remember the other one that I remember from being that time was... Uh, uh, how it was the announcer, uh, Cronkite. And all I remember is the uh, punchline, which is, don't be a commentator. And I think it had something to do with a potato. Anyway, random jokes that percolate up in my brain. Uh, and, of course, uh, you never know what else is going to gonna pull out. Of course, at my age now, I can start saying that I've got Tourette's. Uh, late onset Tourette's and probably say anything away and get away with it. That's one good thing about getting older. Uh, but, uh, hey, I do digress. Anyway, uh, we're off 45 points on the S&P cash. Uh, options uh, don't give a real clear picture other than lower. And right now, probably plus or minus 50 points, 4,300 uh, for April 14th, which is the next big monthly options expiration. Um, we could be there sooner rather than later. Uh, I don't think if this uh, does confirm, which it looks like it's going to today, uh, would probably, uh, or at least historically, you don't find lows until the first week of May. There's a bunch of them if you go back through the markets, and you'll see that somewhere around the 5th of May uh, that you see a great deal of these markets uh, turn uh, either up or down for the summer. But, uh, yeah, if we've pulled the plug here, um, in fact, we'll go to, uh, yeah, Jim and Cap. I'm starting to remember all those names. Hey, <laughs> yes, we felt his pain every Saturday. Uh, we'll get to the chart that matters most. If you haven't seen this, I brought it up last fall. It is the most important chart you will ever see. We'll be back in a Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we come back, as I promised, we brought this chart up uh, going into Christmas because I thought we were probably fairly close uh, to something like this. This is from uh, Jean-Paul Rodriguez. And if you uh, Google that name along with uh, transportation, you'll find his website. Uh, he did uh, what I think is a great model or a map. Um, and probably anytime you talk about maps, you can't talk about it without uh, the old phrase, the map is not the territory. So when you read this and we talk about it, the next thing you want to do is go Google out there, the map is not the territory, and understand what that means and the implications of it. Uh, but this is a good way to think about where you're at in the market. You have to look uh, at where it is. But uh, we've seen, you know, huge uh, moves in the market. Uh, and you almost always hear uh, the same thing at the top, which is a new paradigm. It's different this time. Uh, the Fed will never uh, raise interest rates. Um, you get that denial. You get a huge move down. You get uh, a market that re reboots itself. Everybody thinks, well, the worst is over. The Fed, you know, so they raise you know, up a percent or percent and a half, the market can hold that. I don't think anybody believes that things are going to get better. The market is bipolar. It's either the market's getting, uh, either things are getting better or things are getting worse. There's not a lot of middle ground in the market, maybe in individual stocks sometimes. But overall, either if uh, you don't think the market's going up, you're selling and it's going lower. And uh, if you think it's gone as low as it can, then maybe someone will buy just so it goes back to the mean. But we've gone through all these phases, probably starting in 2010 with the takeoff uh, with uh, huge amounts of Fed cash. We had uh, some little sell-offs, a little bear traps. Uh, you know, about 2016, the media got involved and started fanning the flame. We had a lot of enthusiasm, greed. Uh, I'm going to say delusion uh, last fall uh, that uh, things would only get better and uh, maybe even uh, going into Christmas, a new paradigm, which is the reason I started bringing this chart up. 
Uh, then we got into the denial that the market was only going to go higher. Uh, we got into the uh, huge uh, depression of a uh, bull trap, and then a return to normal. This is uh, the return to normal has me thinking about Jesse Livermore and his thoughts in that it's not wise to sell a top if you're a real long time operator, which he was. We're not, I'm a trader, so it's a little different. Um, but uh, if you don't get back up to the highs, his uh, recommendation, um, don't sell the high. Wait for the retest. If it only gets like this, which is, you know, 50% retrace to the high or something, um, maybe 60, and that's the best you can do. Uh, then that's where you start going, well, where's that ripcord? And uh, hopefully this parachute's been packed correctly because, of course, everybody knows uh, there is no complaint department at the uh, parachute factory. Uh, pretty much, uh, if it doesn't work, no one's coming back to complain. And uh, eh, not a bad business to be in, I guess. Uh, but we'll have fear, capitulation, and despair. We'll come back to the mean of the market moving higher. Everybody will believe that there's only lower. And the whole damn thing will start all over again. Uh, but the people um, on the way down will never say that the uh, problem was with their greed uh, or with their ability not to spot a high in the market. Now, can I promise uh, we're on the uh, just to tick past the return to normal? No, I can't. But I've seen this movie before, which reminds me of another joke of a guy sitting in a theater. And uh, the guy says, uh, I'll bet you. $10, this guy rides his horse right up there into a tree and falls off. He goes, I'll take that bet. And, of course, the, guy, the cowboy runs right up to a tree, hits the tree, and falls off. And he goes, well, I guess I owe you 10 bucks." He goes, nah, I've seen this movie before. He says, yeah, I have too, but I just didn't think he was stupid enough to do it again. And that kind of that's kind of what we have. We have people that are probably uh, busy. Uh, greedy a lot of enthusiasm I hear a lot of that on the NFTs now which if I thought Bitcoin was a con uh, the NFTs make me just uh, go really can you just give me the money and cut out the middleman? I want to find out some way to get in on the other side of that but uh, I do digress maybe I'm wrong on the NFTs I says uh, well history would say I'm not and that is just uh, when you've got a big thing going like uh, Bitcoin, double down on it. And that's what we have now, I think, in NFTs. And generally, that's what you get. It's different this time. You get all that other stuff. But, uh, you know, sooner or later, we're going to see that returned to normal in the rearview mirror. And the rest will be history. And as everybody said, everybody's a genius on the way higher, not on the way lower. So um, I'm expecting at least uh, a fairly decent sell-off. I want to see 41.14 on the S&P tested uh, in the day, not overnight in some uh, futures market. It's extremely thin and easy manipulated and easily manipulatable. But that's kind of it. Let's do a little bit of history. We'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in the market, what I was doing yesterday. But uh, let's do the history before the bottom of the hour. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1960, the first patent on a laser is issued to Arthur, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, Shallow, maybe, and uh, Charles Towns, who assigned it to Bell Labs telephone labs and of course uh, this was uh, back when companies used to do this raw um, investigations it was a product in search of a solution no one knew what they were going to do with it other than put a picture a nice little dot on the wall uh, as a laser pointer what was the real purpose and what was lasers going to be no one really knew at the time in fact it was until the mid 1975s that people really started coming up with ideas on how they could use it by the 1980s uh it was starting to cut steel by the 1990s 
Uh, it was, uh, you know, in factories actually doing that. Uh, now it's hard to go into any kind of fabrication facility and not CNC, not see CNC machines, including uh, lasers and EDM machines. And that's not uh, for your snowflake kids who think that EDM is uh, electric music. Um, this is uh, being able to cut uh, at the atom width uh, of tolerances with a kind of a fine wire. Very interesting stuff if you ever if you haven't seen that. But uh, guess what? A lot of people never know what's going to happen with their inventions. But certainly, it's being used everywhere and every day. When we come back, we're going to talk about what I was doing yesterday and how it's affecting the market. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, I was uh, with the NVIDIA a uh, bunch yesterday as they rolled out new products. Um, yeah, capital V there for that. Um, eh, you know, a market is about 50% of, uh, of whether a stock goes up or down. About 25% of it tends to be the uh, um, sector it's in and about 25% of the stock for NVIDIA or some stocks 
that may be 70 percent of the stock itself and 30 percent is the rest of the market still very tough to go through and uh um okay eddie had a couple of questions here we'll get to those in a minute didn't want to get to nvidia anyway um they've got some absolutely uh mind-boggling new chips that'll be out first quarter of 20, uh, 2023. Uh, these are not meant for you to be at home or for GPUs and stuff like that. Um, but uh, these things are enterprise at scale kind of chips. And probably the one of the more interesting facts that they brought up, and it seems like it holds water so far, is that 20 of these chips would handle all the internet traffic in all the world. They have 20 chips would actually have enough bandwidth for everybody, all six or seven or eight billion of us. I think about two billion use the internet on a regular basis with high volume now. Um, and these things uh, are a variety of reasons to, to have it, but um, a single chip with 144 cores uh, gigs and gigs and gigs and hundreds of gigs of memory on the chip, on the die. These things will put out more uh, more heat than a blow dryer, uh, so they're already meant to be uh, liquid-cooled. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff. That's kind of on the high end, on the lower end uh, for consumer products. Uh, probably the interest, most interesting thing over the last couple of days is AMD's uh, ability um, or for a, uh, a human to walk in a Best Buy uh, or uh, another company like that and walk in and actually buy a video card. They have not been in stock until the last four or five days. Uh, and even NVIDIA has some cards, some of the ones that were made kind of special boutique cards that were marked up probably an extra 300 bucks or in stock mostly because they were there. Uh, and they're there because uh, the other cards that uh, aren't uh, so frilly uh, and do pretty much the same thing are now being able to be bought at retail, suggested retail, not discounts. But there are some stock, uh, there are some cards like AMDs that are actually seeing a discount. It has been a good two years uh, since you've been able to buy any video card that is new or the current a generation uh, at a discount. So maybe there's something going on there that we don't see on the consumer side. Uh, they've always had, uh, both companies have always had at least, uh, you know, about four times of what they could actually produce for demand. Uh, that some of these are showing up may show that the demand uh, that we've seen up to this point was all driven not well no, i wouldn't say all driven but mostly driven to a high degree uh of the pandemic and now that's over that uh, doesn't happen there's another thought i had and uh one of the first gigs i had was uh, early in 1990 1985 or 86 uh working with some folks at uh, electronic arts uh back then the ceo uh, just getting the thing started his name was trip hawkins but uh, he had some interesting stuff about the way he sold a lot of uh, electronic arts as software and games back at the time. But he knew one thing, and that is if someone's going to buy something like software or anything else, that 80% uh, of the purchases uh, for that, any software, printers, monitors, are going to be made within the first three months of them buying that computer. I don't know if that's still that, but there's still that kind of thing going on and i'm thinking that just not having enough product means that a lot of people have just learned to live with whatever they ended up getting during the pandemic and uh, not that big a deal for the lower end uh nvidia on its side is going after the very high end i gotta sneeze And I'm back from sneezing. Um, Apple, of course, had been putting out some stuff on its uh, graphics processor units and how it was far more powerful than NVIDIA. Well, 
it didn't hold water more than a couple of days after reviewers started getting uh, the product over the weekend. Uh, Monday it was a ripple. By Tuesday, it was a roar. Uh, that uh, no, uh, although they're going to be charging probably ten grand for a package, including the monitor for Apple's latest uh, big machine, and it's probably worth it if you've got a big YouTube channel and you've got ten million subscribers and you're putting out five videos a day. Probably worth it. Uh, if not, then probably not worth it. Uh, but uh, they uh, had a, a, a always love these. Occasionally, you'll catch it uh, on Sunday nights on C-SPAN if you're tuning in across channels trying to find anything worth watching. But uh, I used to watch uh, just a handful of minutes uh, during the House of Commons in the UK where you would get tossed out if you called someone a liar, uh, even though that's what they were doing. Uh, but uh, they always had about 1,500 different ways to call someone a liar without calling them a liar. The best one I always liked was an economy with the truth. Uh, the great sir from down south uh, uh, of London has an economy with the truth. Uh, there's a bunch of other great ones, but uh, yeah, how what can you say? Uh, at least I don't have one, but uh, to a T, everybody's saying they lied uh, about uh, the specs. Um, interesting, I think. But uh, other things going on out there uh, with that, too. But anyway, NVIDIA, a lot of cool stuff. May not be able to outrun the markets if they do and do go lower, as I suspect they will. Uh, there will be a lot of spits and starts. And a lot of people think uh, that the market's just going to go straight down. Uh, it's not, I don't think. Generally, when you get into this, it takes about six months or a year to let the air out of the market and have it find some kind of low. I suspect, like I said, that for the most part, on the average day, you're going to wish you were short probably until May if we get that lower close today. 877-927-6648. Okay. So let's go through this. Eddie, uh, on Friday, I turned uh, $750 into 5200 uh, dollars on your Apple call uh, trade call. Thanks. Uh, Apple call was amazing last week. Uh, you have an uh, option pinning Apple and NVIDIA for this Friday. Uh, not really. I do that on the monthly options. I don't try to do it on a weekly, but uh, come Friday morning, I'll probably have something in the newsletter. About. That's about as far as I can see on the weekly. It's Friday morning. We'll be back in a Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. come back a uh, question about amc and the big moves here higher one of the things you should know is the first couple of weeks in a downturn is the most dangerous for highly shorted stocks uh, and they tend to make the people uh that make the worst decisions i.e going after these dogs uh and thinking that they'll be able to get out as uh william buffett says everybody in the market uh, thinks that they're Cinderella and are all going to jump in their carriage at 1159 uh, but they're in a room without a clock um, so there's kind of that anyway what's going on just look for incredibly highly shorted stocks to probably outperform the rest of the market for the first couple of weeks in any downtrend it just happens. They just keep raising the price and raising the price, and the people get more mad, and they short more. And eventually, when they cover, uh, these things make it. But, uh, in fact, I wanted to bring up exactly what AMC's short interest is now. My guess it's, are there any people still solvent that have been short this thing? I mean, it did come down eventually. Uh... Yeah, you're still in the mid-20s out here on the bi-monthly, uh, still 20% short. So you got plenty of uh, fodder for these guys out here. And like I said, it just one of the worst things in the world, and you can see it here. Um, it made kind of a small ABC on the way down and didn't get all the way down. But, uh, you know, the very beginning of uh, the X point in this uh, kind of a rough, uh, Gartley pattern was 82 million shares uh, on the low out here you made it with 33 million shares so don't be surprised that you get a nice run out of this but uh, when these people uh, start uh, or uh, quit uh, shorting uh, this one the next time will go straight down one of the reasons why I was looking for some rather large downside is what we talked about on Monday and Tuesday well not yesterday I did it in the newsletter and that is a fairly big lack of any real heavy shorting in the market other than a handful of stocks like AMC and uh, Bed Bath and & Below and all the usual uh, Robin Hood suspects where people still think that they're going to zero, uh, which is a bad bet to make generally. You want to take it, uh, you get a big hunk, you want to take the money and run in a short position. Uh, but uh, you know what? You got a nice move here. You got some decent volume. Um, eventually, this will peak out with no volume. Everybody will be afraid to, uh, to short it. And then it will probably go back to five bucks. But uh, remember, these companies have a lot of cash. It's no different than Kmart and Sears and the rest of uh, the hooligans that took everybody to the cleaners and those dogs. Uh, they were broke, going broke. And then they had uh, some simpleton or an idiot like, uh, oh, who was it? Uh, Oh, I remember who it was. It was Jim Cramer. 
Bring me the head of the false prophet, Jim Cramer. Who called them nothing but land banks and drove, probably single-handedly helped drive Kmart and Sears back up. I always wonder if there's any kind of uh, side deals out there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he just likes the access that it gets him by doing that. But, uh, I mean, how many stocks have we seen, worthless stocks, have we seen them drive up to the top? Uh, those were two. I'm trying to remember what else is there. Uh, CCR, is that right? CCR? I want to say that uh, that was uh, the company that made the uh, fracking sand. And, of course, you found out uh, that uh, after they got busy, that you could buy the same thing for a tenth of the cost uh, with just regular sand instead of their specially engineered sand. I think that went from 167. Is it still around? Maybe someone will in the den will remind me. But, uh, yeah, uh, AMC, like the rest, uh, like I said, you've got to be very wary in the first uh, stages of a uh, market downturn because a good sign that you do have that downturn is the, the dogs start running. Um, now, you're going to have uh, something else out here, and that is um, Apple, Microsoft, are all going to be looked at to at, at the beginning as the places to run and hide. So they're going to go back up. Uh, Apple, of course, uh, they got another $200 billion sitting around uh, to uh, to buy back their stock. So I think you're a smuck if you try to short this. Now, I mean, more than a handful of days because it will go up and down. I don't see the wisdom of that. Uh, one of the reasons why I, I tend not to short J.P. Morgan or Goldman Sachs, uh, they can manipulate a stock extremely well. Between Apple itself having cash and one of the biggest stock manipulators of all time, William Buffett, having options that he sells on Apple, um, I think you're just putting your head in the lion's mouth on that. There are a lot more uh, and more easily shorted stocks out there. But look for something that didn't short it heavily. Uh, that everybody just believes can't go lower, but make sure that it's not heavily shorted. And that's where the rug pulls uh, tend to come fairly violently. But again, I think this is going to be, if this is, if we get the close today that I suspect, or maybe by Friday, uh, that we're going to have just kind of a drip, 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 um, probably into May. And that's generally the way these patterns revolve themselves or resolve themselves, he did say. 877-927-6648. Uh, yeah, all the crap and dog stocks really jumped yesterday, which is a good sign. Uh, do, 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 okay. Mm. Yep. And by the way, if you're not in the Tiger's Den, you get free entry by having either one of my newsletters. They just sent out an update, so you can uh, click that. But uh, you can get in and uh, meet most of the other traders that we talk about on occasion out here and learn from them, too. Uh, do, 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 okay, what else do we have in the email here? Uh, let's take a quick look at Microsoft. Uh, both of these companies have gobs of cash. They can buy shares back, even in a depressed market. Uh, even if nukes go off, they can still use that cash to buy. Uh, what I would say, though, is generally uh, light volume, as you see this today, there's a double gap at 307. I suspect Microsoft probably tops out about there if we do see a good sign of a high. Hey, let's see. Let's go back to our emails. What do we have out here? Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, let's take a look at that. We looked at NVIDIA. We want to look at MU. Uh, one of the reasons I brought up uh, that uh, the uh, cards were starting to become available now for AMD a lot more, we'll look at it next, uh, was Micron. You did gap up. You're coming back to support at 75. Uh, their price is going to be the same to manufacturers, whether they're doing a lot or not. But, uh, you know, could this still do well uh, with uh, AMD and NVIDIA heading lower? It's, it can. But, again, you want the wind at your back. And if the whole market's headed lower, 
and you want to look for short positions. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. <laughs> Yeah, people talking in the den. Uh, I did hear something very interesting yesterday from one of my friends who's uh, kind of in the shipping business. And uh, you know that we're shipping a bunch of coal uh, to uh, Germany because they've got no power. They were so sure that solar and wind would uh, make up for what they had that they shut down the nuclear reactors. And the only thing that they can get running in a real hurry are those uh, coal plants again. So they're back to coal uh, because they uh, far, far, far overestimated wind and solar. Man, if just someone, anyone, could have thought about saying how that was a farce. But we don't know anybody like that. A uh, question from uh, Eddie uh, today says, uh, with window dressing coming up, does that give the market a delay of execution? I guess what he means by that, does it hold the market up? And I would say that uh, this is the first uh, fund buying uh, event we're going to have in many, 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 many moons. Little uh, Native American lingo there. Uh, of which the Fed is not going to be throwing $30 billion into the bond market. So uh, my thought is uh, rug pull. 
I, you know, you're going to be glad if the thing can, can uh, tread water, in my opinion. You got higher interest rates. You got the Fed telling you that you shouldn't be as uh, euphoric as you could be. I think we have a lot of people in Wall Street that are just kissing the ground, uh, praising, uh, praising uh, the sun god that they got another opportunity to sell at these levels. Uh, and you know what? You can't distribute. At least if you believe in Jesse Livermore's, you can't sell into a market that's going higher. Market will go over. So when you can, not when you have to. I am Barrett. But we'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. And we've got Tim Ord with us.